I'm sure you'll all remember last year's Sidecar Grand Prix. It was a very exciting event. And this year, the 84 Grand Prix, once again, has all of that promise. Look in particular for the great performance from Doug Shivers and Margaret Halliday as the New Zealanders once again streak around the mountain. Flag is dropped. Away they go on their six lap journey. Biggs made a great start. Trouble at the back of the field. Shivers and Halliday to third. A much better start, however, than the start of the Australian Sidecar Grand Prix of 83. And off to the top of the mountain for the first time. This year, we're minus one of the real stars, Jeff Taylor, who's hung up his helmet. He and his passenger, Barry Fraser, are now interested onlookers as we watch now the contenders for 84. Shivers and Halliday, Collins and Anunzo. Bosman's come up to third. That's a good performance. Bosman was a little further up than that. He led the field as they came over the mountain straight, but was then swamped by the two leading riders. Biggs and Calvert on 17. There's the crash at the bottom of the circuit. That's Darrell White, his passenger Alan Jameson. He's hurt. It'll involve an ambulance coming onto the circuit as we go back to the leaders. With Doug Shivers and Margaret Halliday across the top. Halliday trying to become the first woman ever to win an Australian Grand Prix. And looking not only to win the race, but to eclipse the lap record held by Geoffrey Taylor. That record incidentally stands at 227.43. Out of Forest Elbow. At the moment, Shivers and Halliday well placed to win the race, although you'd have to say the lack of competition could put the lap record at a bit of risk. The yellow flag as they come past the accident on Pitt Strait. Twice New Zealand champions, Doug Shivers and Margaret Halliday. the crashed machine. Not too much damage in fact to the machine. And the ambulance coming out as you suggested. Back to the leaders as we watch Shivers and Halliday work across the top of the mountain. Perfect coordination and consider the task of Margaret Halliday as she clings to the sidecar across Skyline. Peter built frame. Yamaha TZ750 engine. It really is so difficult to describe just how hard it is as a sidecar passenger. So yesterday we spoke to Kristen Utzo, Bruce Collins' passenger, about some of the moments experienced. In fact, yesterday I got the closest I've ever got to falling out, coming over the last hump before Rothmans. Um, Bruce changed gears, I think, and I shifted before I should have, and both hands came off the, the handles and we were doing 230, 240 k's. Collins and Denuzzo in second position, following very much in the uh, the footsteps of Jeff Taylor and Barry Fraser, having come from motocross before they made the move up to sidecar racing. When they came on the scene last year, they were without doubt the best turned out sidecar team in the business. Now the leathers are starting to just look a little bit worn, and the bike also is starting to show the signs of wear. Just a little unusual, this combination, because the majority of sidecar races seem to come out of other forms of the sport, solo racing, motocross and so on, as John suggested. These two guys, 27 and 25, respectively. The youngsters carving a career. It's a little unusual, this combination, because the majority of sidecar races seem to come out of other forms of the sport, solo racing, motocross and so on, as John suggested. These two guys, 27 and 25, respectively. The youngsters carving a career in sidecar racing and doing a very good job indeed. Out of the cutting, on the power, careful not to over rev on the hump. As they build up in speed, what does it feel like to be six inches off the ground at 200 kilometres per hour approaching the filmy and skyline? That's the question we asked number four, Bruce Collins. The skyline's incredible. You just come so far through McPhillamy Park and approach skyline and all you can see is the drive-in, just straight over the edge of the mountain. <laughs> Quite a number of people looking to enter sidecar racing this year, amongst them Dennis Neal, the former solo rider, and also 
the former Australian Grand Prix champion from cars, Spencer Martin, is showing a very great interest in sidecar racing and looking to perhaps bring out one of the mid-engined sidecars from the European circuit. As we look at bike 62, Victor Plummer with his passenger Russell Brown parked by the side of the track and the position in which they're parked would indicate that they lost brakes or control over the top of the circuit and ended in the uh, sand trail. 47 is Vincent Genova from Melbourne and Mark O'Brien, his passenger. Bosman, the next man through on 27. Behind him, Graham Biggs on 17. Bosman holds the four-stroke lap record in sidecars here at a time of 239.35. Graham Biggs also coming up into contention there. Biggs was one of the riders involved in the incident on the starting line in 1983. He's off to Europe a little bit later in the season to watch the Grand Prix action over there, pick up some technical and rider hints. Vince Genova, former motocross rider, motorcycle dealer from Melbourne. His immaculately turned out machine. Very good combination this. Always lurking in minor positions, thirds and fourth. Ever reliable and they really do a great job of getting this machine to the circuit in the absolute tip top of condition. One of the first machines in fact to go to the 700cc Yamaha TZ engine instead of the TZ 750cc engine which Doug Shivers as we see here is still using. The 700cc engine gives more power out of the corners, whereas the 750 has more top end. And frankly, at Bathurst, top end is what you need, and that's exactly what Doug Shivers is using to good advantage. He powers down through the S's. Out of Forest Elbow, and the news just handed to us that Shivers and Halliday have broken the lap record. It's now standing at 226.52, almost a second quicker than Geoffrey Taylor's time. What a marvellous performance from the former New Zealand champions as they come down to Conrad Strait now for the last time. One corner remaining for Margaret Halliday to become the first woman ever to win an Australian Grand Prix. Wait for the chequered flag. And there it is. Doug Shivers and Margaret Halliday win the Australian Grand Prix. Over six laps of Bathurst in second place will be Bruce Collins and Krista Nutzo there. Here he comes, big Gavin Porteous with his sidecar passenger, Jeff Spencer. Great coordination from Shivers and Halliday once again on their sidecar for them to take out the Grand Prix of 84 and trimming some 1.1 seconds off the existing lap record which was held by Geoffrey Taylor. Also significant that Margaret Halliday is the first lady ever to win an Australian Motorcycle Grand Prix.